haven't been here for 14 hours. Come on. Hey. Oh, hello there. I'm Phil, and welcome back to our peak check-in series, guiding you through the fog of peak season. Sorry, that kind of sounds like you died and you're trying to find the afterlife. Hopefully you're still alive. Anyway, we've decorated the background for Diwali, if you celebrate that. Also, it's bonfire night coming up as well. Let's hope you have a happy time. Check for hedgehogs. They're more important than humans, and we all know it. I've been told that if I'm good, I'm getting a sparkler later, so stay tuned for a bit of danger and probably me igniting this entire jumper. Probably a bad call wearing this. But before that thrill ride, let's meet our first guest. Seated on the sofa of wisdom this week is Harold. Say something to inspire us, Harold. Stay hydrated. That always works best for me. Thanks, Harold. And he'll be talking you through YouTube for action. This is my budget John Wick, by the way, in case you're wondering. Look a bit more like John the Bellboy, but you work with what you got. Anyway, don't touch my car. Over to you, Harold. Hi, I'm Harold, and thanks for joining us for this week's peak check-in. I hope you're ready for action, because this week's subject is an urgent call to action, specifically YouTube for action. Now, we've moved on such a long way from the time when a brand's big TV campaign or social media ad transferred straight onto YouTube with limited consideration for the audience and the YouTube platform. What we're looking at doing now is turning eyeballs into customers. Okay, so let's kick off with a simple question. Why video ads? They don't really want me to explain why video, they know. Well, if you're not already sold on why video, we've seen phenomenal growth in watch time over the last 18 months, and those habits have stuck. On the ad side, according to Statistica, global video ad spend in 2021 will hit $92 billion, up from 43 only five years ago. People have turned to video as a natural part of their day, and we encourage brands to seize the opportunity to authentically connect with existing and new customers. So why YouTube? According to Comscore, over 98% of adults in the UK are watching each month, with 18 to 34s watching one hour plus per day, and I am definitely dragging that average up. I need to be careful of my screen time. YouTube is as big, if not bigger than, say, a large popular streaming service you may watch. And YouTube's watch time was up 26% from last year, with over 21 million people in the UK now watching YouTube in their living rooms on their TVs. That's up a staggering 85% year on year. Not only does YouTube have massive reach, it also offers you an addressable, scalable, and targetable way to grow your business. And guess what? Our video ads can help you achieve this. So why now? As I'm sure you know, peak retail started in October, so now is definitely the right time to get in front of the right people. Feels too tight on timing? Well, YouTube will still be a massive opportunity after peak and into 2022, so if you don't have content at the moment, you can still start planning now, and I urge you to. So we know why video, we know why YouTube, and we know why now, but how do we use all of this to drive sales? Well, in terms of ad format, there are many, but if sales is the goal alongside eyeballs, YouTube for Action would be a strong recommendation. YouTube for Action allows you to focus on driving a chosen action by leveraging the same tech as your beloved search and shopping ads using notably smart bidding and search terms. The first step to finding your highest value customer is to understand your audience based on their intent. Recent Google and YouTube searches are a great place to start, then combining this with other signals flowing through the metaphorical Google pipes, and then using machine learning bidding towards conversions, not views. All of this gives us a strong recipe for driving sales by serving ads to people in the market for what you are selling at the right time or multiple times. For example, let's say you sell hats and I'm in the market for a new hat. Like 86% of people, I've recently used Google to search for a new product. And Google may choose to match me with a video ad showcasing your tremendous hat like this one. Thanks, mate. If the ad catches my eye, I may wish to visit the site and buy it. Oh, and you're only charged if I watch the whole ad or 30 seconds if it's longer than that. So it's a great opportunity. What else, I hear you ask? As we learned earlier, connected TV has grown enormously, but for the first time, performance advertisers can take advantage of YouTube on connected TV to drive and measure conversions. This means you can literally serve YouTube ads on UK or the 120 million US TV screens that were watching last time we checked without booking months in advance. In summary, if you like Google search, Google shopping, and or TV as channels to drive online sales, you will love YouTube for action. 
Is this too good to be true? Well, there is one more thing. Creative determines a large part of the success of your YouTube video, and understanding this is key before editing and serving ads. Fortunately, next week, we will be taking you through how to drive sales through YouTube with the right videos, notably the four key components for creative excellence and how we can help you make those videos. But until then, get out there and start thinking about making video ads, because if you're not doing it now, during the most digital, emotional peak season ever, then when? Thanks, Hazza. Now you're all fired up and ready to make your videos, it's time to take time out to nourish the inner you. It's cookery week, eating healthy to stay healthy. No more of these. Oh, oh, that, that does not smell good. My generic sugar grain cereal. Get out. Harold and I are gonna be following the brilliant people at Happy Pear as they talk us through how to make a falafel wrap. Harold, come on, it's time. Hello, mate. How's it going? Hello. Good, thanks. How good are you at cooking on a scale of one to 10? Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Out of 10, yeah. <laughs> I'd say I'm that. unpredictable Phil because I burnt my crumpets this morning, they're set on fire, so it's not looking good. Anyway, we've got help from the Happy Pear. Okay. And we've got about a million ingredients. I don't know what half of these are. Mm. Mystery powders. It looks fairly straightforward, so I reckon we should just play the video and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So first step, we've taken two tins of canned chickpeas. So next step, I chop two cloves of garlic and a quarter of an onion that I've diced. I oh, he's going fast. Right, right. yeah, Calm sorry, down. okay. Right. Yeah. So I right. <laughs> okay, let's, let's chop up some, let's chop up some garlic, shall we? Let's do it. Okay. Um, I don't know how to chop garlic. That's a great start. Yeah. I'm just going to go for it. This will decide if you're a vampire or not. I'm still this, sussing you out. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> how much garlic are you putting in? Because I'm just I, going crazy. Well, we'll go with two. Go to. It didn't say what to do with it, it just said chop it. Just chop it, yeah. Okay, right, that's chopped. And then the onion. Do you think this will make you cry? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Oh, here we go. I'm in there. Need some speed, Nigella style onion chopping. I am welling up a bit. It's gonna be like when I watched The Notebook and cried to myself last night. Do you ever just whack on the notebook and have a cry? Well, I spend most of my time watching you on YouTube. Actually, oh, do you? There's not much time for the notebook, yeah. You don't you cry do while watching. a lot. How do you upload that often, by the way? I think it's, I'm quite chaotic, so whatever I do just makes it into a video, so that okay. makes it quite easy. There's okay. never another take. I just do everything in one take and hope for the best. I rate that. Which is what we're doing now. Abs it absolutely. could all go wrong. Right, you said chop it up. Okay. What's next? So I get 25 grams of fresh coriander or cilantro, which I love. I'll get a fist of coriander. Yeah, I'll do the same. And I think we'll... Let's, should we just get in this? I think we should. It's going uh, in. Yeah, it's happening. Can I do like a coriander bay situation? Oh, do it. Situation? Oh, yeah. you, you, oh, <laughs> that uh, wasn't as smooth as salt bay, but you're almost there. You could open a very overpriced restaurant where I you could. just pour... Very pour healthy it. one. We just, we just serve coriander. Pour it into people's mouths. Okay, yeah, I'll do my chickpeas as well. He just yeeted all those in there, didn't he? Yeeted? Yeah. Yeeted, I love that word. It looks quite full already. That does look like it's going to be too full. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll just see. Should we, should we, it's all good. Should we chuck in our... Uh... Let's do it. Oh, God, I've made a mess, Harold. This is overloaded. You are, you're right. Maybe we should... No, we'll just see what happens. He's probably going to talk to us again. But we'll we see what happens. So next step, I've got two tablespoons of ground cumin, two tablespoons of ground coriander. I've got a level teaspoon of salt, pinch of chili powder, pinch of black pepper. And I'm overwhelmed. Half a yeah. Of bacon. Okay. I'm just going to throw them all in. Uh, well said, well said. Yeah. So you want to do your half, I'll do mine. My half. That looks like a lot of salt. I, I, should we just do it? I think so, yeah. I mean, this was lovingly prepared by someone that knows how to make a falafel, so I'm assuming it's the right amount yeah. of everything. Oh, yeah. We're gonna... If not, it's going to be we can't, spicy we, wrap. We can't trust then who can we trust as well. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go yeah. again, shall we? two tablespoons of gram flour or chickpea flour. He's sitting it because he's fancy and he's a very, very trained chef. Should we nah, just, yeah, just chuck it in there. Slowly. I want to keep two? a little bit of texture. Two. If you want a real oh. homogenous blend That's of fine. <laughs> okay. That's all right. He's not said put the lid on yet, Harold. You, he, you're pre, you're preempting it. We could try it without. <laughs> Let's just do it. Yeah. It's going to need a lot of blending, that. <laughs> Sounds like it's setting on fire. Should we go again? Just give it a bit of a spoon yeah. and it's good to go. Do you like coriander or does it taste like soap to um, you? Isn't that, it's true, isn't it? Some people hate it, some people like it. I heard it. it's genetic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Should we maybe have a ghost moment? Yeah, we should. 
Well done, Happy Pair. Not bad. Or what, what do you remember about like your first milestone, 500k? What does that mean? 500,000 people on YouTube following you. Well, do you know, my first milestone was one comment on a video. Because when I got that first comment, I was like, someone out there cares, and that's all I want. Was it your mum? It was my mum. Yeah. I, I, I think we're more or less done when they're, when they're toast. Yeah, they're just whack them in the wrap then. Yeah, I think a million was a massive deal. Yeah. Uh, went out for some, went out for some beverages, a million shots. Um, I'm I think we're ready. Yours, think we yours look toasty and neat. Mine look like an absolute yeah, shambles they're great. mess. They're great. But I think they're both going to be tasty. Right, let the happy pair. On the home trick, we won't talk. How about this? Let's just watch this yeah. bit and then yeah. we can chat. So I'm serving mine in a bed of our own hummus. A little bit of a taboo, like kind of herb taboo, like a little bit of um, pomegranate. He's just right. He's yeah. just layering it on. Right. We know how to do this. He's just showing off now. Yeah. Okay, fine. So we have our, our rep. How do they smell? Fresh. Delicious, yeah. We've got some hummus. Some, some hummus, I think it's pronounced. S hummus. Yeah. Slap on some hummus. Okay. You can never have too oh, yeah, little okay. hummus. Okay, you're, you're generous with it. Good. I'm generous with the hummus. If my mum's watching, sorry for scratching the pan. I yeah. don't have another spoon. Yours are staying together and mine are like splitting into tiny bits. And then, are you a fan of the, of the humble pomegranate? I do like a pomegranate. They seem a bit of a faff. I reckon if I found one in a forest, I wouldn't bother getting all the seeds out, you know? <laughs> no. It's like... In fact, there's nothing humble about them, are they? No. They're pretty flash. They're pretty flash. All right. A little bit of cucumber. A little bit of cucumber. Um, um, I've just emptied a full lemon on mine. Good man. Uh, to counteract the spice. Ah, yes, to compliment, I think. I don't know if that's going to... Oh, <laughs> Even oh, yours looks oh. better like that. Yeah, I think I've... I just went for whole cucumbers and you've, big for my boots there. you've sliced it. Right, should we try this bad boy? Wait, I think we should... Should we get to oh, decide yes. who the winner is first? Absolutely. Okay, so that's there's our wraps. We're going to do it with a round of applause. So who thinks Harold's the best? <laughs> and who thinks mine's the best? I think it's I mean, great. I had it coming. <laughs> well done. You're the winner. Cheers. 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 That was brilliant. Let's give it a bite. Thanks to the happy pair, the real winner. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Mm -mm. Mm. No? Mm. No? Mm. Oh. Ew. I need some milk. Oh. I just had to down half a pint of milk. Oh. Oh my god. A little bit too spicy. Okay. Harold, have you enjoyed thoroughly kicking my butt in the falafel Olympics? I had a great time with you. Same. Anyway, it's time for the big finish, but first, we need the appropriate protection. Gloves. There we go. Who are you, anyway? Where did you come from? Uh, goggles. Sparklers. Thank you. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. Stand back. Have a good bonfire night. Happy Diwali. Whatever you're celebrating, have a good time. Thank you, Harold. I'm gonna write my name. Stand up, say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye there. <laughs> well.